Hi, Tucker Nome here with Three Creeks Capital Management. I'm here today to talk to you about one question that I'm always answering for my OPERS and SKRS clients, and that is, when can I retire? We know under the retirement systems, most of your retirement benefit is based on age and service credit. So a lot of you think about, do I have 32 years and under PERS or 35 under SDRS? This is a very important factor to your overall retirement and when you can retire. However, keep in mind you can retire with less than 32 or 35 years, taking on a reduced retirement benefit. When we look at this in your overall financial plan, what we're most focused on is what is your net benefit in retirement versus how much you're bringing home today. That really helps us determine when can you retire. Obviously, your retirement's also based on your final average salary. For most of you at this point, it's gonna be a combination of your five highest years of earnings. Last but not least, most of you will also leave someone a benefit upon your death. So who is your primary beneficiary and how much of a reduction in your retirement income will you take to leave that benefit? So when we think about your total picture, what we do is look at your net benefit today, how much you're bringing in your checking account, and then what your retirement check would look like. So take your OPERS or STRS gross benefit minus federal and state tax, as well as healthcare cost. And when you look at both of those numbers, what you're currently bringing in and what your retirement looks like, if the two numbers are pretty close, then it's very possible you can retire sooner rather than later. The most important thing is, what does retirement look like for you? Does that amount of money carry enough weight in order to provide you the lifestyle you want in retirement? Maybe things like your mortgage being paid off will make a big difference. Or your primary beneficiary also has a pension like Social Security or outside investments. So these are things that you need to take in consideration in total when determining when is your best optimal retirement date, okay? So if you have questions about this related to your particular situation, feel free to give me a call. We'll help you answer this question for your situation. Thank you.